What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today, we have a pretty decent sized package coming from ComC. So I went on and had deposited, I wanna say it was $130, 125, something like that. And I gave myself an entire night to look through ComC to find cards and I spent every penny of it. So, this is the lot here. There's actually a pretty good amount of cards in here, considering I had, I thought that had my name on it. I was about to say, I gotta cut that shit out. Does this, this have, does this one have my name on it? I think this one has my name on it, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, bro. But yeah, gave myself one night and I found a stupid amount of cards for $130, which, which I was pretty surprised with how many cards I got for that price, considering some of these are actually pretty good. So yeah, none of those, uh, sorry, I was about to say there was no sports cards in here, but there actually is, I think one or two sports cards in here for my Simone Gagne collection. Uh, the rest of them are Marvel or Game of Thrones or Umbrella Academy for the most part so get all these all these tags out of here because this is this is craziness this is craziness each one has a tag in it i mean there's not much you can do so i'm gonna take these out and then i'll be back all right so i got all of those pieces pieces i was gonna say pieces i was gonna say, yeah pieces of paper out of every single one of these cards and i didn't realize i bought this many cards to be honest with you uh i forgot i bought some of these so yeah we're gonna get through these not in any particular order you'll see a common theme with uh most of these so yeah starting off we have a scarlet witch from a marble platinum there's a lot of platinum cards in here but I uh, decided to pick some of the characters up that, you know, some of my favorite characters or the artwork or or if I just have another parallel of it at the moment. Maybe just go for a little small section of the rainbow. But for this one, I mean Scarlet Witch, probably one of my favorite Marvel characters. And I love the artwork on this. This is the Teal Wave out of $7.99. So got that there. And then we have a Spider-Man Homecoming autograph. I wasn't aware that this movie had autographs up until maybe a couple or when I bought these cards. And they were pretty cheap on Compsy. Most of them were around two bucks. And yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming, probably one of the better Marvel movies to come out in the past decade. <laughs> so yeah, got, what's his name? the hell is his name he signed over the name it's crazy we got kenneth Choi as principal morita so that's what the back looks like nice autograph i like the design of these there's a couple different parallels from this set for autographs and yeah i just picked up most of these like i said the very nice looking autograph so yeah we got jackson we got the the shocker here uh from i'm trying to read these names but this, they signed over it they signed over it. I think that's shocker number one. She's got that there. And then probably the, the best autograph from, from Spider-Man that I picked up. We have Liz. This is the only reason or the only thing I know her from is when she was at the, the, the that, that one carpet event. And she was next to to tom holland and she kind of, or he, and then Tom Holland ended up putting her or his arm around her. Like, they were best buddies, even though she was very interested in him. But he chose Zendaya. I don't know. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, we got that autograph there. And another Scarlet Witch here. But this is the Baloo Tracks out of $4.99. Most of these Marvel Platinum cards, too, were around a dollar, which I thought were crazy. And this one here, I mean, the artwork on this is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Got Magneto on the Blue Tracks, number four ninety nine. dollars Another Spider-Man Homecoming autograph. We got Abe. Uh, no idea who that is, but from the movie. And I was I might actually go for the set, honestly, because the only big autograph from the set is Michael Keaton as did he what was who was the villain in this movie? Was it was a vulture? I think it was Vulture. But my I think it's I think his name is Michael Keaton. That's the biggest autograph in the set. All the other ones are relatively cheap. So, yeah, we got a couple of Game of Thrones autographs here. And this one is by far the one I'm most excited about. We have Shay. We got the funny whore here. Sibel Kekili as, as Shay from the show. 
I think this was maybe 15 to 20 bucks. I might have sent an offer in it, to be honest with you. But yeah, that's probably the best Game of Thrones autograph from this set. And then a couple more cheaper ones. We got Chuck Chucku Modu as Ago. He was one of the Dothraki in season one and two, I think. I'm not sure. But then we have another one. We have Tony Way dropping these cards everywhere as Dantost Hollard. So got that there. And then the only Umbrella Academy autograph that I picked up was a Murray Furrow as a Sid. I'm pretty, I'm getting, I'm, I've been picking up a lot of Umbrella Academy autographs recently, and this was just another cheap one that I needed. So got that there. And then very sick artwork of, is there another card in here? I don't know why I feel like there's another card in here. We got Dr. Doom. I mean, that artwork is just beautiful. Come on now. We got the Teal Wave number to $7.99. Another autograph here. This is Seymour. Seymour. JJ. Didn't this guy turn into a girl? I, I think that's what it was. This is a dude. And then he turned into a girl. Because he was the... I saw... A, he was on Jesse. He was he was on the, the Disney Channel show Jesse. Who was... Who had a super crush on... What's her name? God damn it. I haven't seen that show in forever. What's her name though? Oh my god, I can't I can't picture her face. I can't. I'll think of it. Throw, throw it in the comments down below. Wow, what's her name, bro? Jesse. I don't know. I don't know. But another sick one here. We got Uatu the Watcher. Ice Blue Tracks. I ended up watching Marvel What If. And he was essentially the, the narrator for that show. And oh my god, absolutely beautiful. Love Uatu the Watcher. Just because it has to do with all the universes and and and, and different timelines and different yeah, it's just sick. So we have another one here. We got the teal wave, and then I think the only hockey card in this, in this uh, hall, we have Simone Gagne, number to fifty penmanship on card autograph. Autograph, pretty cheap honestly. So I decided to pick it up. Another one to add to the collection from 0708 OPG, and another game of another couple Game of Thrones autographs. We got Mark Stanley as Gren. We have. Jonas Hakor Johansson as Lem Lemon Cloak. Another pretty decent sized one. This is Harry Lloyd as Viserys Targaryen from, I believe this is from Art and Images. So got that there. And then I think the last Game of Thrones autograph, we have Antoine Lesser as Quiburn. Damn, I'm, I'm nailing these names. I'm honest, I'm pretty confident in these names, to be honest with you. I was, I'm, that's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with myself. And then we have another Spider Man autograph. Uh, we got the Tinkerer. Yeah, got that there. And then the rest of them, oh no, we have another one. Most of the, yeah, the rest of these should, most of these should be Marvel Platinum. We have Jackal here on the red prism. I have the violet pixels of this, so I decided to pick this one up to go with that. These are numbered at 199. And then we have a vision here on the yellow spotlights. I also have the blue tracks of this one, so decided to pick this one up. These are numbered at 399. And then we have Ronan the Accuser. I actually have the blue autograph number to 25. So this one actually goes perfectly with that. This is the blue tracks number to 499. And the only spot of the 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 only spot that I picked up, again, was I think it was maybe less than a dollar for this. But this is the ice blue tracks. Obviously, if you've seen Spider-Man across the universe and into the across the universe and into the universe with miles morales spot was the main villain in i think it was across the universe that's the second one and then the third one should be coming out eventually very excited for that one hopefully that comes out i think it's coming out next year 2025 i think I'm not sure but hopefully uh, that's supposed to be a good movie is this the across universe was absolutely phenomenal so excited for that. We have another vision here. This is the red prism, number to 199. And then the only green goblin as well. We have the blue tracks, number to 499. Absolutely love that artwork there. Awesome. We have another Magneto, but this is the teal wave. And then last but not least, we have a Spider-Man Homecoming autograph. We have Jason from the movie, Michael Barnes. Michael, why does that say, oh, I thought that said Barnes, but that says Bar, Barbieri. <laughs> so yeah that is the whole pretty big pretty pretty big size lot for only 120 some dollars i mean i'm pretty impressed with myself i mean look at all these game of thrones autographs come on come on huge absolutely huge another umbrella academy autograph and a simone gagne number to 50 i mean you can't complain to be honest with you so 
But that is it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys see anything that you like? Anything that you have? Anything that you collect as well? Let me know down below what you guys think. Anything. I'd love to respond. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Till next video. Mom.